and uh, really classic Indy. Now watch it next from the gun. Here comes Frank Sanders working over to the sideline. Touchdown. And I'll tell you what, the ball coach, he was a little. Oh, we boy. almost got the full visor throw. We saw that a lot last <laughs> night. Vander's <laughs> been. Boy, what a play that was. Oh, he's great game. So there he is now. First time he's been back in the swamp. This might be one of the hottest tickets that they have seen since they've been here in Florida. One of the more hostile environments that they're expecting as well. Caleb Sturgis will put the ball on the tee at the 30-yard line. Ryan Hill and Brandon Harris back deep for the Canes. Imagine what Robert Marv is thinking right now. That'll come out in the 20-yard line. And Marv takes his first snap and hands it off to Cooper. And nine, his first pass complete. No, nope. nine, three down linemen defensively. Can they get to Marv? They do not return. Matched against Matt Bosher of Jupiter. And it's a bad punt. It's off the side of the foot. It's out of bounds. The young jitters are showing up here early. He's going to throw on first down, rolling left. Throws incomplete. Over to the right side of him, and the two start together on a sort of an option around frequently. From the gun, there's pressure. Tebow steps away from it brilliantly. There is a penalty flag. Offside, number 97 on the defense. Penalty decline. Oh, bad weather. In the immediate future here, and here's Percy Harvin touching the ball for the first time. Over there. Tebow throwing in zone. Touchdown! Aaron Hernandez, the tight end, scores the first touchdown of the game. Hernandez was a big part of this attack as you watched the game plan the other day, Kirk. He's lined up, nobody covers him. Miami brings pressure, but nobody picks up Hernandez, and I think the corner, Grant, just didn't think that Tebow could get the ball over top of him. With the Here we go now. First and ten, the fullback's back in, and they run straight ahead, and look at that Gator front. Very basic power eye formation. No data. There's just nothing there. That he suffered an automobile accident and cost him any playing time next year. They... Here is Marv, fakes the handoff to James, he keeps it, and Marv, the center, snaps it to Marv, and here's the handoff, and James to the left side of the formation. They're going to try to throw forward, and this time they have him, and of course we told you about that glove over there on the left hand, as he hands it off, and eight with 4-10 remaining in the opening quarter, and Cooper's back on the field, 42nd clock. Quarterback draw, can he get it for the first down? He does! Totally basic run formation here, and they're going to stay on the ground for man coverage. Looking in that direction, he's loose, he's got it first down! Freshman, the trigger man. Handing off to Cooper, and he's banging over behind the left side for you here. With second down and six. And uh, that time there wasn't... Well, to building that up. Marv wants to go back on the left side. There's a new corner over there. And Marv is going to roll right, take off, run for the first down. Unbelievable. And on first down, Cooper. And Reese back here, second and long. Marv rolling hard to the left. Third and 20. They are backed up. Marv in trouble, throws a quick screen. We'll see what happens. And the Bosher's going to try a 50-yarder. Distance. Yes. Wow. Tebow back in the gun now. He comes second down. An option look. Mr. Tebow's going to keep it. Motion out. Sit still. There's four receivers out there to that side. And Tebow's in trouble. Because Marv had been suspended for the game, so he's in for the first time. So you would think, unfortunately, he's done for the night. Thomas, meanwhile, first down and ten. Thomas steps back on and nine. And here's Thomas again. He's been busy. He's bouncing outside, spinning. They've competed against one another in high school. Harris, he's got great wheels. Bounces outside, gets it off, incomplete. That led to their touchdown. Tebow now, 
trying to see if he can get anything going. His receivers are covered, so he takes off a big game. Coordinated one of Ohio State, a lot of other places. And Stepping up in the pocket. Move the linebacker into the gaps, and here they come. Two linebackers trying to get in, and they Tebow shakes loose. Fires! Got his man! One foot was clearly down in bounds, and here comes Tebow. Uh, yeah. He got into him pretty high that time. And, uh, he's been getting rushmen through. They've been coming through gaps. Tebow steps up, hit, incomplete. Yeah, he's another one of the Bulls from uh, Northwestern. Angling the punt for the sideline. Got the coffin corner. Buried it at the one-yard line. They're without James. They're going to throw complete. How about that call? There's the hand. Move it. Middle. Very if you haven't seen it, watch Reese and the gang at halftime. One minute. Set the middle screen and drop. Incomplete. Well, happy play is up. Orlando Franklin. Okay, it's now from the end zone. Bosher blocked in the end zone. Going for the recovery of the... And it goes safety. Safety. We had to hold on to see if they were going to signal touchdown or safety. And it's a safety. And there's the emphasis on the punt team. There's Urban Meyer's baby. And they come through with a big-time block, Jeff Demps, the world-class speedster. Head start, and he thinks he can hold off the ball. I don't know. And you could give Demp maybe a one-yard <laughs> start. Of it. <laughs> but here we come now, Brandon James. He's got breakout speed. The coaches who I think do some of the best jobs, stress special teams, and uh, incomplete. So the Gators did look at some of the Kansas tapes, trying to get an idea, so they couldn't see much last week. Three down, play a little prevent. It is the Canes who will get a chance to see if they can run this clock out as they don't even put anybody back. They're just going to let this one roll dead and they're going to get down inside the most part. The Canes can hold their helmets up high uh, so far and Zebo uh, and the Gators got to make some adjustments. In this first half is the job they've done in the secondary of matching up with all that speed of the Gators. Yeah, very good point. Back to the goal line. They drive Brandon James. They keep him on that side. He's got an alley. Staff. But they tend to be a second-half team. Percy Harvin's run down, stretched out. Uh, since 1985. They've only played six times since. They got Tebow in trouble again. Forced that pressure. It's a veteran defensive coordinator. Closing in. Tebow steps away. Complete his accuracy downfield. Collier is back. And that is a booming punt. There's that punt team again for Urban Meyer. They should seal him up short of the 20, but it's a terrific return. Let's see how he gets started here in a second. Got the call. Throwing on first down. Caught for a lay. The scooter's fire. <laughs> and remember, there are running. Oh, Marv. On a nice play fake on the roll, throws in underneath the coverage, going to be... He's a good runner. He's going to get it. Punt for the safety. Handing off now, here's Cooper looking for daylight, stretching it. By three touchdowns here against the Gators. Robert Marv, the redshirt freshman, buys time, looks middle of the field. Not going to get there. Great defensive line penetration. You've been here more than I have lately. Here comes <laughs> a great fake by Matt like a linebacker. Thomas, middle. By the defensive lineman. Third and short. Thomas. Gators have not broken through. Thomas picks his way back. Gators with their hands full against Miami of the ACC. Throwing it. Show a couple of tight ends. Marv sets, goes deep, double covered, through the coverage to the freshman. Did not like reading from one of his players, and trust me, it's much like Nick Saban, a matter of threat. There's Harvin. Got it. Salute if they could. For the Gators, that's Demps. 
Going in behind Tebow, who stands up and delivers. And on a second effort, Aaron Hernandez showed us why the coaches like him. Great point on, uh, on Cornelius. Uh, but, and as uh, Tebow's in trouble, he's got to get it off quickly, and he does to the underneath. Kirk. There's a lot of weapons on that football team. There's the option right now. Tebow, he was keeping this all the way. There's only four attempts on the on third downs. Stands, delivers, hot grab. Incomplete. Is going to come down. It's Does it come down? Can you actually see his foot down? That was Randy Phillips over there making that play. The runner had possession of the ball. The left elbow touched the five-yard line. I guess uh, we go back to what Kirk said. Was it conclusive as Tebow rolls left now, putting pressure on that defense? Can he run it in? Can he give him the Gators a golden opportunity? And throws down in goal as a direct snap to him. He run backwards, throws for the end zone. Harvin up and he's out incomplete. Now they're going to call a penalty on Phillips. Not the official's going to make that call. Number six on the defense. They give themselves an extra blocker for Tebow. Tebow again. Option look this time, and they pitch to Harvin. Touchdown! And so much speed to put pressure, especially inside the 10-yard line. Somebody like Harvin can take the pitch from Tebow and step in. Gators lead at 16-3. Like you said, Greg Bobby Petrini is living on the edge. Played together in high school down in Broward County. There is the... up the middle of the ball, going to snap it, second and ten, off the play fake, dropping it off to Hernandez, and he view everything, third down and three for Tebow, he attacks that perimeter, and there's the yunker, that's more than running back alongside Tebow, and they're going to keep this thing in the air, got a man wide, open Murphy this time condition football team and that may be showing right now in the fourth quarter throwing a strike to the end zone got the touchdown went right back to Lewis Murphy this may be his best pass of the night Kurt 8.59 to go lots can happen in <laughs> nine minutes. You just never know. <laughs> and uh, that call, the celebration penalty against Washington. In case. Odds on, they'll protect. So it's a penalty. But there, we've seen a lot, a lot more things that are worse than what happened today with Jake. To Reese and Lou and Mark, and I'm assuming Dave Perry will be on with him, the supervisor of officials around the nation. Tebow going deep strike, Murphy! Touchdown! How about that? Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Uh -oh. The wideout was not on the line of scrimmage at the snap. Penalty five yards. Down. Some mistakes. Hey, the blitz sure picked up beautifully. Swings. Second down and ten and uh, three. Missions. I mean, that was it was unbelievable how he spent his son. Football is not what is not his first love. It's it's his faith, and you know what he stood for. It has bled on down to this Gator team. Urban Meyer says, "I have a kid that has done such good around the world that Urban Meyer took his entire family on a mission as well. They helped feed people. They built a medical center, and Urban Meyer said he is." young when this rivalry started what is it like to be the first gator team to beat miami since 1985 uh, it's huge i think it's a great rivalry uh, unfortunately we don't play a lot i think uh, hopefully that'll you know start up more soon and i'm just happy uh, for all gator nation for all my team and it's just a blessing right now